A few hours ago, OpenAI has finally released the missing piece. So finally, they have released a method which basically guarantees that the output of ChatGPT is in a structured format. And this was one of the biggest challenges for developers who, of course, need data in a specific format. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the easiest way to ensure that your response from OpenAI is in a structured format. So I'm going to open VS Code. And if you want to build a script together with me, I've published the entire script on my website. You can find a link to this website in the description of this video. And there you can find a .env file. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know what the .env file is and what it is for. Um, you will find the main script and you will find as well the requirements.txt. If you want to code together with me, just make sure that you update OpenAI. So just type uh, pip install OpenAI uh, space minus minus upgrade and you will ensure that you have the latest version of the SDK. Then let's take a look at the script. So what I'm doing here is I have base info. So I just have an article about Thomas Jefferson. I've just taken this from Wikipedia. And then I've created a class person, and this is a Pydantic class. You will see it's referring to base model, which is part of the Pydantic library. So you see that the class person has a name, has an occupation, and those are both, both strings and as as well related persons, which is a list of strings. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna provide this class to OpenAI, to ChatGPT. So I'm initializing ChatGPT here. And then just for your information, you will see that I'm referring to client.beta.chatcompletions.parse. So this is different than the method that you might've seen before where we use create and where of course we don't use beta. So make sure that you use this as well. And of course we're referring to the latest model. Then what I'm saying here is you are a helpful assistant, you receive a biography about a person, blah, 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 and provide a summary of this person. And then I'm here, I'm referring to the base information, which is coming from this variable. And then this is the really important part because here I'm mentioning that response format is person. And this person is referring to this Pydantic class. Then what OpenAI has done, and this is also a bit new, is a ChatGPT can choose to refuse your request. So then with message parts, you can check whether your request has been processed. And if message is not parsed, um, then the message is refused. And you can also see the reason here. Then what we're doing here is with message.parsed.name, we're getting the name of Thomas Je Jefferson. We're also getting his occupation. And then you see here that I'm looping through message.parsed.related persons and I'm putting every related person on the screen. So let's run the script and see what we get. I will see here that we get back the name Thomas Jefferson, the occupation and entire list. And then we also get back the related persons and my script is able to loop through this. And OpenAI is guaranteeing with 100% that if you use this method, the response that you will get will always be in the format that you provided. I really hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.